So if you're a stem blade, or a mag blade for that matter, apparently this finally got fixed. Excuse me. So for many for many years, uh, Zenimax has been trying to fix it where you could um, hit someone with a heavy attack into either a concealed or a surprise attack and it not break cloak. So you can heavy attack somebody and then concealed at, or uh, hit somebody with a surprise attack and still secure the stun because if you did it quickly enough and you animation canceled the heavy attack immediately with the with the ability, it would not break the cloak when you hit the person and then the surprise attack would go off and then it would automatically secure the CC. I've showed this numerous times uh, on stream that it, it's worked that way, it's still broken uh, and it should have been fixed, even though they've said they fixed it, primarily because maybe a little further back than maybe many of you have played, if you remember um, way back, where you could literally heavy attack into a concealed into an ultimate and none of it would pull you out of cloak and all of it would gain the benefit of the extra the extra weapon damage that you get when you're invisible as well as um the stun and literally everything the heavy attack the heavy attack the glyph and the surprise attack and the ultimate all gain the benefit of the extra damage and the extra critical damage coming out of coming out of stealth and you literally get one shot and you wouldn't even see what the fuck happened you were literally it, you all the only thing that you would hear is the uh, the ultimate going off and you look back at your death recap and you'd see the heavy attack the glyph the surprise attack and then the ultimate and then probably the execute if, the, if if that whole combo didn't kill you and that existed for quite some time so they made some adjustments to kind of push that back but for the most part part of that combo still exists even to this day where you can like i said where you can cloak hit someone with a heavy attack into a concealed and still secure the stun and not have the heavy attack finally pull you out of cloak and so apparently this maybe possibly got fixed i hope it did because i really hate people relying on bugs to secure kills and yet this person right here decimus says melee heavy attacks from cloak now break cloak on the pts and it's like well they should no shit it should be that way and it should have been that way from the start this is with this this is what this essentially means is that every high-end Nightblade who actually heavy weaves into a surprise deck stunt, and see, he, he knows right there that he is, in essence, uh, exploiting a bug. It says, it says, lost about four to five K burst in no CP and sustain associated with the heavy attack weave. It says, while this change is not listed on the patch notes, I would guess the following line is what has caused the issue. It says, fix an issue where partially charged heavy or medium attacks um, were not considered direct damage. And so that's probably why I wasn't pulling night blades out of stealth. He says, class, he says, class was doing pretty bad already and i beg to differ i come across a lot of stand blades and no cp uh, bgs that are amazing a lot of them are trash and on a rare occasion you'll come across a fairly decent player that the, the amount of burst that they have is it is ridiculous and of course some of it revolves around the exploit of this particular bug of not being pulled out with any event, it's it's ironic that this person says this nerf hits stamina night blade players worse than surprise attack change. It says worse than the in cap cast time. It says worse than removing minor berserk from relentless. It says worse than making casting vigor break cloak. And these are all balance changes that should have been in the game. Uh, there's no reason for you to be able to um, use abilities, especially if like healing while you were in late, basically invisible. It's very stupid and it's a crutch, but some people like crutches. And it says worse than the ambush breaking cloak. And I think this is something, of course, that should be fixed as it's a bug. It says something better be done. And I kind of like uh, what this person says very straightforwardly. And this is more likely what I would expect of someone who is a high end player. And he says, as a Nightblade main, I say it's good. Bugs shouldn't be the way to gain power. Instead, we should ask for buffs and legit ways of getting stronger. That's what a high end, that's what a high end player says. That's what a person who is looking for risk award. This is what we this is what we as PVPers should expect from the PVP community and what we would look for from our developers. We should look for our developers to make the necessary fixes like this so that bugs are fixed, so that people are, in, in essence, not getting outplayed via bugs or by server lag or, or overperforming abilities or proc sets. But 
what we should look for is we should look for skilled players to showcase their skill in high level in high level battlegrounds or in or in one v one tournaments, etc. This should in no way uh, be the standard. Where it says what essentially means that high end players who actually weave are losing out on damage. This is exactly what we don't need. As PvP players, we don't want people who are in essence declare themselves as high end PvPers who literally rely on exploits and breaking and things that break the game cause people to actually play better than they normally would. And of course, I play as well, and I've shown this when I when I played my cloak melee magic and nightblade that you can actually still perform that exact uh, function of hitting someone with a heavy attack, etc., and everything goes off all at the same time, and it doesn't break the cloak. And I'm really glad that this change, uh, if it is going to go forth, that it continues to go forth to the PTS, so that in essence it separates the wheat from the chaff, as they say, right? It separates the good players from the bad players for those who, for those who exploit to those who are legitimately good at the game and should be looked to as examples of what pvp should be about which is in essence what most of us who grew up playing sports was about was about sportsmanship everybody, sportsmanship everybody coming and doing their best and not relying on exploits and cheating like no one ever looks at someone who cheated in sports and was like yeah yeah we want we need to bring that exploit back into into whatever sports like no we would look down on that person and i would say we should do the exact same thing for this person who wants to rely solely on exploits to actually garner kills